up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl peaceful and i am back with another video if you are new to this beautiful channel welcome and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe don't forget turn on your post notifications so that you are notified next time i post another video and to all my returning subscribers what it do babies thank you so much for coming back thank you for the love the support you guys have held me down thank you so much for watching my videos don't forget to like this video comment more video ideas down below so as you guys can see from the title today's video we are doing realistic new year's resolutions i was not gonna leave this video out i thought i should just not do it but then also i was like we need new new year's resolutions i mean it's a new year and we need something to look forward to throughout the whole year and first of all excuse me where are my menaces compliments on the new year you guys happy new year to everyone wishing you guys all the love the support the money the happiness all of which you deserve all of which your heart desires happy new year to everyone and let's get on with our realistic new year's resolutions so i even made a list because i didn't want so um i'm gonna be doing i think it's about 30 resolutions but then um i'm gonna pick 22 that i feel like will work or like i can work on for the whole year you don't have to do 22 new you don't need to have like 22 new year's resolutions but i feel like at least 22 <laughs> whatever you guys go with um it's fine so today we're drinking just red wine again i think it's that juicy red um this is like the last glass so we're gonna chill it nice and today it's a sunday it's the second of january and yeah i'm also having some chocolate so it's wine and chocolate day today and it's a very relaxing calm video so i hope you guys enjoy this video please show it some love please like the video and i know people have heard enough about new year's resolutions but let's try out these ones like i feel like these ones are like more realistic and they're like more I think they're like stuff that you can do they're relatable um and they're easy and so my first suggestion is that um you should buy a year planner or i don't know a personal calendar or something have something like this one that i have here um from my mystery box it's actually a good thing but i also have like a big one and i'm also gonna get like a year planner from typo i think they're 200 they're worth 200 i'll post a screenshot here and i'll put it here so they are worth like 200 but you can like use them to like you know plan out your hair your year have like a beautiful year so our first new year's resolution is going to be building a better budget like sticking to a budget um i am a person who's big on saving like i don't want my bank bank account to like go to zero zero that can never happen it can never be me like i will never have a zero zero on my bank account if i have a last 500 i am not gonna spend it because you can't like we're growing like you, we are adults we are young adults but you can't like not have money in your bank account that is not possible so the first new year's resolution for me i would say building a better budget sticking to a budget you know having know that you are spending this much you are saving this much this month and the second new year's resolution will have to be plan your birthday you know your birthday is coming up plan it like plan it to the way you want you know um don't let it be just a random day birthdays are very important so i say plan your birthday the way you want it if you want decor you want that cake that is written your name with decors or numbers or whatever plan your birthday accordingly so that when the day comes you like 
lucky people like like here those that are but their birthdays are like september october they you have enough time to plan for your birthday and everyone else even the ones that were born in january you guys had the whole previous year to plan for your birthdays so i would say plan your birthdays accordingly and the third one would be considering therapy um i attend therapy and i feel like everyone should just consider therapy i mean therapy does not mean that you are depressed or mentally ill or stuff like that but therapy is actually good i know we depend on our friends and family for support but like consider like actual therapy where you go see like a professional and you just sit there and you talk with them and you just unwind and that way you know when you talk to a therapist you know you're not gonna hear it someone else or someone else discuss it and you don't have you know a therapist is not going to remind you that remember last week you said you're going to break up with your partner did you break up with them no um and like friends they're going to ask ah oh, but you went back stuff like that so consider therapy it is actually good it helps a lot legit it helps a lot and then our fourth resolution would be plan a vacation child this is one resolution that i am legit gonna put it as my second resolution i don't know but i am definitely going on a vacation this year legit i'm not playing i'm not playing i'm going on a vacation and then third oh no the fifth resolution would be get in a body positive mindset you know there are people that are actually thin and they don't like their bodies at all and the people that are actually big don't like their bodies so try and get your body in a positive mindset you know look at yourself as beautiful when you look at yourself in the mirror see beauty in everything that you see in the mirror try thinking positive there must be a reason why you are plus size you know and there must be a reason why you're thin but if you feel like you're not happy with your body that leads us to our seven um seventh resolution which is working out like come up with a workout routine and stuff like that and don't work out because you want to be thin or you want to you know work out so that you feel good about your body and that way you have like a body positive mindset and then the next resolution would be try out a new diet plan child working out is not a problem a diet plan a diet plan that has to be the most hardest thing in the world but i fingers crossed a new diet plan for this year and the next resolution um wearing um workout gear that makes you feel good so i am big on shorts tights gym clothes gym clothes i can wear them all day every day i don't have a problem with them so wearing um workout gear that makes you feel good it means even when you go work out you actually feel good so don't wear can be a crop top but you're not comfortable with wearing a crop top to gym so wear like a workout gear that makes you feel good so that when you get to the gym and you start squatting and you're doing everything you like for your body participating you know and the next um resolution upcycle your wardrobe for good you know our wardrobes are actually one thing that set us back you know we have a lot of clothes some of them are big some of them are small and we are just caught up in between so my say is that just choose like just choose the clothes that you don't want anymore just have a a good wardrobe like recycle your wardrobe that's a best new year's resolution just recycle your wardrobe and the next resolution um plan out your days today i actually did that um i wrote it here like i actually planned it out 
planned out today i woke up at around six and i was like okay i'm going to go to church today i'm going to record a video i'm going to do this i'm going to cook i'm going to so plan out your days that way you i don't know you are kept up the whole day but like cleaning out your days is actually going to be efficient even when you go back to school when you go back to school um it's going to be easy you plan out your day you know you have class after class you have training or you have this so planning out your days should be part of your new year's resolutions you can't just wake up and not know where to begin with your day and the next resolution would be investing in your skincare routine Ciao. I am definitely, definitely up for that one. Like investing in skincare routine, I am definitely up for that. Even though it's a bit expensive, all these skincare routine things, they're expensive. But ciao, we are investing in skin this year. Um, our next New Year's resolution will be um, don't let little things bother you. You know, we are bothered by so many things in the world. And when we go back to school, we're going to be bothered with academics. So small things that you feel like, actually, I shouldn't put this too hot. Don't actually put it too hot. Like, don't. Just don't put it too hot. Don't let small things, like, small things anger you. Don't. Just don't. Child, don't. I think um, the next New Year's resolution... As number 13, I think, um, write to yourself, write, like write something like letters to yourself or something like that. I also do it. Um, it's something that I started last year, which was my 2021 New Year's resolution. Um, and I'm go. I'm taking it with me to 2022. Writing to yourself actually helps like a lot. I'm going to try to show you guys, like writing to yourself actually helps a lot because you you are telling yourself things like you are saying something to yourself and a day later when you go back and you read it it's so refreshing like writing to yourself is one thing that is so refreshing that i find it because sometimes you find yourself in a position where you are mad um at night and you can't you don't have anyone to call or the situation is too personal for you to call a friend and you just feel like oh my god that's when i'm like when i'm crying and I'm, i write and i'm like but peaceful i'm like telling myself stuff but i feel like i'm talking to someone else so writing to yourself actually helps a lot i recommend it and our next resolution would be um be less afraid of making mistakes. I personally have made a lot of mistakes this year. In child, I am becoming less afraid of making them. Like, I just make mistakes and I'm like, oops, that was a mistake. Or oh, I make something, sorry, I make something and then it is a mistake. Like, just, I'm not afraid of making a mistake. I am definitely not afraid of making a mistake. Next resolution go to bed on time like try and set up a sleeping i don't know sleeping alarm or something like my phone reminds me when it's like 15 minutes to 11 that i should go to bed but sometimes i don't follow it but sometimes i do follow it so like go to bed on time it is actually good for you the following day you like your days are like proper and then next goodbye the next resolution would be say goodbye to toxic friends um i don't really have a lot of friends so i wouldn't say like but if people feel like i'm toxic in their life then i strongly recommend that they cut me off because i'm not god so you can just cut me off it's fine because i'm toxic in your life so it's only fair that you cut me off next resolution would be take trips with no destination in mind um i i because i don't work and i kind of put like a big trip sometimes what i do is i get dressed up i dress up i look cute and i just get inside a bolt maybe i bolt and say marvel but then you know you would just on your way to marvel and you're like 
to the uber driver can let's just go to rose bank that's fine and then yeah just take trips for people that are working they can like take big trips to like drive to cape town or something but um for some of us that are not not that financially stable you can just take just do something not don't plan it like that but like take a trip a random trip next resolution make your room or your home fragrant um not really, like make it i don't know how to put this make it nice like make it a space that you would want to go back to you know buy candles i personally love candles and let me show you i have this candle here it is expensive but it's okay um and i normally light it up the rest of my candles i left them at dress because you know like i have pictures in frames i put pictures in frames and then i put them like just make your room or your home more welcoming and prettier so that you also look forward to going home so that you don't stay in people's houses or you don't visit people a lot but you actually enjoy your own space and the next resolution is striving for personal growth just work on growing personally just don't dwell so much on what happened in the past but actually oh job but actually like strive for you to grow personally like grow and like invest in you growing up i mean obviously every year we turn a year older so there should be like a difference in you next one um write down your goals everyone needs to actually this one was supposed to be like the first resolution everyone must write down their goals and like i don't know but this was this is how i did my 2021 thinking um and like i did guys um write down your goals um goals are like short term so they're like stuff that you really want to achieve um you can like have anything as your goal so you should consider writing down all your goals and stuff that you want to achieve in 2022 and the next resolution would be be consistent you know pick something up that you're gonna do throughout the whole year and be consistent with it um i had made a resolution that i'm gonna be consistent in rugby for 2021 and child did i not achieve that i was legit consistent i did my level best being consistent is very hard um like you can say um you wanna be <laughs> you want to jog every day in the morning it's going to be a hard resolution to keep up it's going to be a tough thing to do but you can actually do it next resolution would be giving yourself a new look if you don't like your look if you feel like you like how someone else um look is going try it out if you don't like your look at all um if you don't like like your sense of style if you don't like how you dress how you like portray yourself just change it um take this as a new year's resolution change it give yourself a new image give yourself a new look if you feel like you want to wear more black clothes than bright clothes do that get, change the whole look it is actually a good thing i'm also gonna change my look and be like wear more colors more often because it's either i'm wearing a black or modern white and a bit of colors here and there so i'm gonna wear more color that's gonna be my new year's resolution and the next one is don't settle don't settle for less child if there's one thing i ain't gonna do in 2022 is settle for less same way i didn't settle for less in 2021 i'm gonna hold that motto with me and i'm gonna go forward with it and i'm not gonna settle for anything less than what i know i deserve and what i know i am worthy and what i know i am enough for don't settle for less it's a new year new you 
The old you used to settle. The new you doesn't settle. That's on period poo. And then number twenty-four. Take a risk. To all the people that are working, if you wanna quit your job, take that risk. I'm joking. But um if you feel like there's something risky that you wanna do, take that risk. If you feel like you wanna give your ex a second chance, take that risk, baby. <laughs> yes, because it's a risky move. Giving your ex a second chance is a risky move. So if you want to take it, go for it. Next resolution, have more fun this year. Child, if there's one thing I did in 2021, I'm sorry guys, like every time I drink alcohol, I close my eyes. Like when I'm a bit tipsy, my eyes go. So if there's one thing we must do in 2022 is have fun. And what is the one thing I did in 2021? I'm listening. What did I do in 2021? Period. Poo. Yes, I had fun. And I'm definitely going to have more fun in 2022. Like, just have fun. If you have the opportunity to go wine tasting, do it. If you go quite by, just have fun. Because we are growing up. Everyone is turning a year old this year. Imagine how depressing that is. Exactly. So try and have more fun. Next one is do something that you've never done before. You've never done bungee jumping. Do it. What are you waiting for? You've never went to the... to. Let me see. You've never eaten oysters before. You've never had sushi before. Do it. Do something that you've never done before exactly so like that should be part of your new year's resolution doing something that you've never done before and the next one is which is use a weekly planner try out a weekly planner or a day planner or a to-do to list like things to get done today like try that to get your weeks more efficient to like get things done more easily and live up to a like have a schedule so using a weekly planner is actually one thing that i'm also going to be doing because i'm getting a life planner <laughs> i'm getting a life planner from typo i'm so excited about that i wish i can like show you guys i'll show you guys i just don't know in which video but i'll show you guys i'm going to buy a life planner period poo period 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 and then the next resolution would be buy a plant <laughs> i know right um i want to try it it's a challenge i'm challenging myself to it actually i'm gonna get a plant and see how it's going to work out don't don't come for me don't come for me i know i don't have a house yet but there's nothing wrong there's nothing wrong. and the second last resolution oh God. The second last resolution would be encourage yourself more. If there's one thing I like is encouraging my, I like in doing is encouraging myself. I always have people that encourage me. I always have like my friends encourage me, my teammates encourage me, but I don't really, I'm not really big on encouraging myself. So that is the one thing that I'm also going to be working on this year, encouraging myself more to do like to do stuff like good training is hard like you just need someone to like hold you and be like child we can do this encourage you so i also want to be able to like hold myself and be like peaceful we can get this done and our last resolution would be put your well-being first if there's one move that i made this year and this year is only three day two days old ne? But I already put my well-being first. And that was the wisest decision to make. It is so refreshing. It is so calming. Putting yourself first. A, it's just say peaceful over everything. 
just say your name over everything this year that is what i am doing and it's going to work definitely because we're gonna be hurt less we're gonna be depressed less because we don't expect you know because we put ourselves first and that is my 30 new year's resolution which are realistic and are attainable it just needs you to have discipline and a great attitude towards your new year's resolutions and then you are good to go and guys one resolution that i would like to add so this is going to be my special 31st um is giving love a chance like child we are still too young to be complaining about love and how love is just wrong and stuff like that like child give love a chance if love finds its way to you give it a chance we know you have scars we know you are heartbroken we know you have traumatizing history but love is such a beautiful thing like love is such a beautiful thing and i feel like everyone needs to experience it at some point like love is a beautiful thing so give love a chance if love finds its way in your 2022 don't shut that door give it a chance because at least you're gonna say at some point Ubuti. at least i was once happy i was happy at some point that is what is that is what like you are going to get from that relationship even if it ends but you know love visited you know so guys that is my new year's realistic new year's resolution and i hope you guys loved my resolution ideas and i hope you pick the best 22 that works for you or if you only have five that works for you from this video that is still fine work on that um you don't really need to have like 22 new year's resolutions but pick something work on it let it push you throughout the whole year and yeah boo. um guys this book me has held me down for 2021 i wrote letters to myself in this book i wrote my resolutions in this book i also did this thing of i am looking forward to 2021 in this book and i'm also gonna do i am looking forward to my 2022 in this book and then um what i did for my 2021 was actually pick a weird pick a word that works for you and it's gonna complement your whole year um, my word for 2021 was brave excuse but for 2022 i'm actually gonna go with happiness and yeah write what you want in 2022 write what you need in 2022 write what you want to share in 2022 and write what you want to succeed in 2022 and actually for what i want not i want in 2021 was i want to be free from anxiety and depression i just want to be happy that's what i wrote in my 2021 and i actually was happy was more happy this year and then i said what i really need in 2021 is that qualification obtained the title and guess what boo boo guess what qualification obtained that's all period and then what i want to share in 2021 i said i will continue to share my love and smile to everyone i know and meet during the year and i did exactly that that's on period who and then i said but i want to succeed in 2021 is i really want to succeed in this rugby thing and i just wrote this one i was like i want to succeed in this rugby thing but guess what boo 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 guess what guess what i spoke it to existence period who got a provincial call up in rugby me so writing it down is actually manifesting it and actually like saying it like period and then i said my youtube channel will surely succeed and guess what it is booming i am loving every minute of it so writing down things actually helps you into working towards them and succeeding them and achieving all those things and i wish everyone a very beautiful year 
I hope these New Year's, New Year's resolutions actually helped everyone and everyone has something to look forward to for the course of the year. And this beautiful book right here, I got it at Mr. Price Home. It was 50 rands the last year. Um, I'm sure they have more beautiful designs this year. But um, yeah, so let's stick to some New Year's resolutions. Let's try them out if you've never tried new year's resolutions maybe this is your time try them out and see how it goes and maybe you will like it you'll never know like you'll never know just give it a try so yeah you guys so thank you so much you guys for watching this beautiful video and if you haven't liked it yet please do like it don't forget to comment some video ideas on the comment section down below and i hope you pick at least 22 new year's resolution ideas um but if you feel like five only works for you then pick that five and work on it but i hope this video was very useful to everyone and everyone is just gonna pick up something and work on it and let's go and have a great year i love you guys so much happy new year and to a beautiful year to everyone wishing you guys all the love and happiness all of which your heart desires i love you guys so much i will see you in my next video bye that bro should get old and don't give me my no ho shit the ho get too bold i'm allergic to